Hi, I'm the Discussioner here. As some of you may have noticed, I haven't been able to keep up with a regular video making schedule. It's a bit time consuming. I have to make sure I look nice, I have to make sure I'm actually wearing pants for the most part, and, and it's a bit difficult. And with a job that's over an hour away and other responsibilities, I haven't had a lot of time to make videos. But I do have thoughts and ideas that I want to express, and I certainly want to still uh, maintain various discussions on religion and politics and philosophy. So to that end, I have decided to pick up a, a and uh, start an actual blog on my website, honestdiscussioner.com. Uh, and it's an actual WordPress blog, and it's about four years overdue at this point, I think. But it should be a lot of fun. So link is in the underbar. Please go ahead and hit the little subscribe button when you get on there. Put your email in there first if it's not already, and uh, comment on there when I make some blog postings. Uh, there's already one up right now, and I'm going to talk about it a little bit here for you. So there's actually some content in this video. Uh, just to let you know, I'm not deleting my channel or any of my videos or anything like that. And I'll still be making videos from time to time because YouTube as a community still does exist if it's still a shadow of its former self. But what are you going to do? Uh, oh, and also I have a Facebook page. I'm expanding to social media because I'm, again, getting with the times about four years late. Now, <coughs> excuse me. What I do want to talk about, and as far as my blog posting is concerned, is the idea of, well, of God wanting you to know about him. You see, my first videos on YouTube were about uh, a essay, or a manifesto, if you will, that I had written about what my thoughts were at religion at the time, uh, why I deconverted uh, away from Christianity. I put a lot of time and effort, and those videos mean a lot to me. I'll link them in the underbar in case you want to see how far I've come in the past uh, three or four years. I think it's four years now. But uh, there is one argument in there that I've made that I never really get, I really don't see it addressed very often. It's one that I think is incredibly oft, incredibly ignored by both atheists and apologists. And I really think it's one of the more damning pieces of evidence against Christianity. And since I brought that up uh, in my first series on YouTube, I thought it would be make a very good blog posting. And I'm going to talk about that blog posting with you here now as well. I'll also read it because the blog posting is going to be more succinct and better formed than my random ranting will be. The fact is, according to Christianity and many different verses, there exists an idea that God wants you to know about how true Christianity is. He at least wants to give you the option to believe in the fact that, or the supposed fact that Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. Now, I think about that and I look at our human history and I find that a very difficult proposition to swallow. In fact, I think it's a rather impossible position to hold while actually considering all of the evidence and being reasonable about it. Consider the fact that at the time of Jesus' passing, and actually going on to the day, the world was divided into two by a very large ocean. Now today, we can fly back and forth, and we actually know about North America and South America and Europe, and we have knowledge of our entire planet. But at the time, no one knew that there was an entire half of the world that, you know, existed with people on it. And they didn't know that for 1,400 years. Now, if God is the type of person that wants everyone, all of his loving creations, to know about him, why was that the case? And why was it that for generations upon generations, thousand, over a thousand years, there was an entire group of people, an entire half of the world, really, that had no way of finding out about Christianity, if it is, of course, supposed to be the one true religion? generation after generation, father to grandfather to great-grandfather, down the line, lived their lives and died, believing in a type of uh, polytheistic spiritism. Uh, I'm sure there's a better name for it than that. But at no point was there any contact with Christianity, and certainly God had the power to change that. He could have teleported an apostle or someone who knew about Christianity over. He could have pulled a Paul, and if we believe, I think it's Corinthians, uh, he downloaded the Gospels into Paul's brain. He could have done that with someone over in the Native American side of things. Why didn't that happen if he really does want everyone to know about his existence? 
Now, the only time I've ever actually heard anything really against this is to say, well, hey, listen, you know, he, God's not going to actually judge these people, or, or they might even go universalism and say, well, there's no hell, really, so it doesn't matter. But it does matter, because whether or not you believe in hell, you do have to believe, if you're going to be a Christian, and if you're going to take the Bible in any way seriously, that God wants people to know about Jesus. Even if there's no negative repercussions, he makes his intentions very clear. It's good for people to know about God, and he wants people to know about God, and he had the power to make sure people were informed of this. And yet, we only see it spreading through very human and not supernatural means. Nowhere where there was not already a presence of Christianity or Christians moving into the area do we see Christianity already existing. And that shouldn't be the case if there's actually a supernatural force behind Christianity. So we can discuss it here or we can discuss it on my blog. Link in the underbar. Um, I'll still be making videos. Hope you enjoyed this. Look forward to seeing you again. Have a nice day. Honest Discussioner, out.